Okay, we're on Ketuba, Perak Vav, Mishnah Zion, 7th and last Mishnah in the 6th chapter of Mestachek Ketuba. So we talked in the last Mishnah about, about a Yatoma, an orphan, who wanted to, who was left money, or how much money she, she deserves, uh, from her father's estate in order for her, and for her dowry. So our Mishnah is going to talk about a similar case. Hamashlish ma'ot lebito. So this guy is dying, so mashlish means to give to a third party. So he gives ma'ot money, to his daughter, in order to prepare for her dowry, to buy her fields or to whatever. Okay? He gives money to prepare for her, for her marriage. Le keshitina se. Let's read the Bartunura. Masar ma'ot, biyad shalish le tzorach bito. So he gave money into a third party's hands. Le tzorach bito for his daughter's needs. Le knot et tasadeh o nedunya to buy a field or for her dowry. Le keshitina se. When she gets married. Okay? Vihi omeret. And so they had Aresin and the husband's like, okay, give me the money. She says, ba'ali alai. She says, I believe my husband. Give him the money. Give him the money. It's okay. We'll build, I don't know, a factory together. Says the Mishnah, The third party must do that which he was, uh, uh, what, what he was instructed to do. Says Rabbi Meir, buy the field. So you don't listen to the girl. You do what he was appointed to do in order to determine her future. Rabbi Yossi says, so let's say he buy the field. It's her field. The husband convinces her to sell the field and give him the money. She's stupid, but she could do it. So therefore, from our perspective, it's as if it's sold from now. Okay, if she wanted to sell it, we could do it. So therefore, Rabbi, Uda, Rabbi Yossi says, not Rabbi, Rabbi Yossi says, we listen to the girl because she could do it anyway. Says the Mishnah, When is that true? When she's an adult. Aval biktana. But when she's a minor, ein ma'asek tana klum. She doesn't have the right to sell. This is where we're explaining the Mishnah according to the Bartunura. The Gemara has a different version of a chisari mechsara. You can look it up in the Kahati. But according to the Bartunura, the Mishnah is saying, when is this rule true? When she's already an adult. Since she's an adult, she could sell her field. Therefore, Rabbi Yoshi argues and says, harei mechura me'achshav. It's as if it's sold now. But when she's a ktana, when she's a minor, ein ma'asek tana klum. The actions of a minor, she can't even sell the field. And therefore, when she says, she was married off as a child. She says, give my husband the money. She couldn't sell it herself. And therefore, even Rabbi Yose agrees with Rabbi Meir in the case of a minor, Rabbi Meir, and says, you don't sell the field, but ra- you buy the field, rather, you don't give the husband the money. Let's stop here and dedicate our learning to the memory of my father, Arab Simcha Ben Yitzchak Kalman. Have a good day.